Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah, and today I am going to sh show you how I do a flat granny stitch pattern. Now, typically, and I'm probably going to be repeating myself because I already filmed me making this, so you'll probably hear this some information twice. But typically, what they do is that you will chain in increments of four, then add six when you get to however long you want it to be, you would add six and then you would do your first double crochet into the seventh stitch from your, or the seventh chain from your crochet hook. And thus that chain six will be your first crochet or double crochet plus a chain one. So instead of doing that, I really like to utilize a single double a single double, a single double stacked single crochet. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Anyways, I prefer to use a double stacked single crochet, which is what this is right here. This is a double stacked single crochet. Mind you, it's not perfect, but that's okay. And then every time I turn my work, I'm instead of doing a chain of whatever because sometimes you'll do a chain three sometimes you'll do a chain four depending on what row you're on I would do a double stack single crochet to start my next row and then I would follow go back and forth and you're gonna see how I do it in just a moment but the result is the same the result is the same so now um, now I'm going to go ahead and put on that the tutorial portion of this video. So yeah, there you go. Be right back. We're going to show you how to do this. If only my brain would work. Somehow I managed to do this. I'm rambling. Bye. All right. So as you can see, we're using this pretty sparkly pink. This is leftover from the skein that I was making my mommy, mommy in law's Christmas Christmas shawl with so this was the remainder and so typically they will tell you to chain in increments of four and then when you're done you'll chain an additional six and that's where I'm gonna differ so we're gonna uh, go ahead and I'm gonna do 12 because that's an increments of four so and I'm using my number five number five my h8 five millimeter crochet hook you can use whatever one you want it just depends on your yarn what it needs so we're gonna I'm gonna try and loosen that up a little bit because that first one is always a little tight so we're gonna chain 12 so that's one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now at this point you would typically here to chain an additional six and then you would go into the seventh chain from your hook. So I'm not going to do that because I want to I want to utilize the double stacked single crochet so we will chain one more so whatever you do increments of four plus one more and then you're going to go into that 12th chain and create your double stacked single crochet and this will then become your first double crochet of that round now you're gonna chain one and then we're gonna skip to the third crochet or the third chain so we're in this one so we're gonna go one two three and we're gonna do a double crochet granny cluster so that will be a total of three double crochets And 
and chain one. Then we're gonna do the same thing all the way across. So we've got one, two, three. So we're gonna go into that third one and do three double crochets. If I could get it to go. There we go. And my yarn is pulling. All right, so I need two more double crochets in that chain. And chain one, count three, one, two, where's it? One, two, three, okay. So double, double crochet, three, three times. <laughs> oh my goodness, my brain, you all know me and my brain is lacking sometimes and then chain one, and then you're gonna end up with, should be three, actually it looks like two, but that's how much they usually end up with anyways. But, um, anyway, so now we're going to double crochet into that last chain. And that is the end of this first row. So we've got a double crochet here, and then we, we've got our double crochet, then our space, then our three clusters, and then a single double crochet, or one double crochet at the end. And now we're going to, instead of chaining, we're gonna just turn our work, go immediately into that top of the double crochet, and we're gonna create a single, a double stacked single crochet. So there's one single crochet. Now we're gonna go into that first opposite leg and do the second single crochet. Now with this one, because we want to do opposite of the first row, we're gonna go ahead and start doing two double crochets to complete our granny cluster into this open space. So double crochet, double crochet, maybe I should have used a different yarn because this one's getting a little tight. Okay, now we're going to do a chain one and then do just as you would with any granny square and you would just do three double crochets in that next space. Chain one, three double crochets into the next space. Chain one, fix my yarn <laughs> so that I can work. Three double crochets into that next space. Chain one, and then we're gonna do a double crochet at the top of that first double crochet or double stacked single crochet. Need a double crochet. Actually, I did that wrong. I apologize. So you're gonna do two double crochets because we're at the end and you wanted to have a granny cluster on either side. So see how this one started with a granny cluster right there. We need to end this one with a granny cluster. So you're gonna do two double crochets into that space. Then you're gonna just simply double crochet into that the top of that uh, single stacked double crochet. Get it in there. And what that does is that helps keep the edges straight. 
So now we are going to do the first row over again. We're gonna turn our work, go right into that very first double crochet and create our single stacked double crochet. So with this one, we started with the single stack double crochet. So we're gonna start with just the single stack double crochet. So we're going to chain one and then jump into that next open space with a granny cluster. So three double crochets together. Oops. My goodness. <laughs> three double crochets together. Chain one, going into that next space, just like any other granny square with the granny stitch. If I don't stop dropping my stitches here. <laughs> don't forget to single crochet or sink chain one in between each. My goodness. Because I have a tendency to do that. Forget that chain one. All right, so now we're back at the beginning. We need to, I chained one. Now I'm gonna do a double crochet in that last space or stitch. Try to make sure you get both loops oops I know it's there there we go just kidding we'll try that again there we go oh my goodness there we go third time's a charm all right so now we're gonna repeat row two so we're gonna immediately turn our work, go into that very top, the top of that very first stitch or the very first double crochet and create our double stack single crochets. And since we are going right into that space, we are not going to chain one because this is going to be our first granny cluster of this row. So we have two more double crochets, chain one, and then we will continue on just as we normally would with any other granny, granny square or granny stitch pattern. So now we're back at the end. We're gonna do two double crochets. Then we're going to do a third our third double crochet into the top of that double stacked single crochet. Uh, yeah, single crochet. And just make sure you get through both of the loops. Sometimes it's because it turns, so sometimes it's kind of hard to see. But there's there's both the loops right there, one, two, and you want to make sure you get through both of them. And for whatever reason, it's being difficult. Could be the way the yarn is. I'm not sure. And it's not wanting me to go through both. Okay, there's one. And... Boy! There's the other. All right, so now we're in both of the loops and you finish off your double crochet. Again, that is keeping your sides perfectly straight, as you can see. And now we're gonna repeat row one. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple rows without explaining anything. 
and just so that you can watch and then I will come back when I'm done. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video of how I do the flat granny stitch panel pattern. And may you enjoy it and do it yourself. I am, obviously this is what I'm going to be doing with, to make the Taylor Swift dress, but I will be changing colors. And that is really simple. Uh, all you would do is, in, when you finish your row, um, you would start the next row with the next color and go on from there. Now, what I did not say at the beginning or during the um, actual tutorial is, or at least I don't think I did, um, you will measure how long you want your piece to be so let's say you wanted a 32 inch blanket, 32 inch wide blanket, you would go in increments of four for the chains all the way up to 32 inches inches, and whatever that would entail and then you would add the one for that extra um, chain. So increments of four and however long you need it to be because your work is going to be as wide as however many chains you do. And then long or tall, however many rows you do. Now with the um, Taylor Swift dress, it's going to be done this way. I mean, you're going to crochet it this way, but when you do the panels and lay them out, they're going to be this way. So this is going to be the top of your dress and this is going to be the bottom of your dress or however you do it. So. Um, yeah, you would just do however many chains long in increments of four that you need your project to be either wide or tall, whichever way, you, way it goes. I'm sorry, it's, I don't know, I must be tired or something, but anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button, and if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, I would appreciate it if you would click subscribe if you would subscribe and click all on the notification bell and with that my brain is fried and so is gravity because it works people 
Oh. Just oh. Oh. 